Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the Microsoft Surface Pro and the Lenovo Chromebook Duet tablet. And I will show the differences in the writing experience between these two tablets or two-in-ones. But before we get started, please do subscribe using the icon here and that will help me also to continue making these videos. <laughs> so let's just get started. I have in both uh, devices the uh, OneNote app open. It's the best experience that you will get in the Microsoft Surface Pro device. But I show in the other videos that the Squid app works much better in the Lenovo Chromebook Duet tablet. So I will show you also how it works with the Squid app. So let me first bring the Microsoft Surface Pro one. I have the pen here. Let me first show the pen here. It has like the one button on the top and the two here. I just used this one of them for the eraser and this is actually really helpful. So it also works with battery. So I'm gonna try to write something. And do some drawing. Now you can see that the, also the palm ejection works really good here. There is no registration or any of sort of from my palm here. And the writing experience is really good here. It feels really fluid here. And one thing I realized between differences with the Lenovo US iPen and the Microsoft uh, Stylus here is that the tip of the Microsoft one is thinner. So when you contact it, it has much better feeling. This has more round shape tip, the Lenovo USI. So it doesn't feel in, as in the same way kind of. So it doesn't feel like a real pen. If you remember the old stylus, they have really like round tips. This is not like that, but it's still it is too much thicker than the one that from the Microsoft. Now I will bring the, the Lenovo one here. If you write with the Microsoft one, it will not do anything. It will not register. I will use the, from the Lenovo one here. It works, but there is still a delay here. It doesn't feel like as fluid as the one in the Microsoft Surface one. So I will if you want to use the OneNote app, it's better that you go with the Microsoft Surface Pro devices. But if you want to use a Squid app here in the Lenovo one, which is Squid is just made for the Android devices here, you cannot find it in for the Microsoft Surface Pro. The, this really works also good here. This is really fluid experience here. You can see also the palm rejection works good here. You can use also your finger to erase kind of. It works like as this button that in the Microsoft uh, pen exists. So if I showcase that one more time, the difference is here. Now I will try to write something. This is really much better experience, I would say, because of the tip of this, because it is much thinner than the one. I don't know if you can catch it, the diameter of this, like tip of this USI from the Lenovo is much thicker than the, from the Microsoft Surface. So if you want to take notes a lot as a student, this has much better experience with the Microsoft Surface device and the stylus. And you can use one of the buttons here just to erase, kind of. That works also really good. I use it all the time. It's really handy. But the similar thing also in the screen up here with the USI pen, as I showcased before, you can write and then use your finger to erase, kind of. That works also good. So if you want to use the Lenovo Chromebook to a tablet, 
use the screen app with the OneNote app. There is a latency in the app. I don't know why. Maybe Microsoft doesn't want to support it in the same way that they do with the Microsoft line, Surface lineup. But it's great, it's much better here, but the experience of writing in general is much better in the Surface, Microsoft Surface device, yeah, because of the tip of this uh, stylus, which is much thinner. And you have a better pen experience here. So, that was, uh, yeah, that was what I wanted to show in this video. Hope that will make your purchase decision a little bit easier. So if you're going to write a lot, you, you should consider getting the uh, Microsoft Stylus and the Microsoft Surface device here. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video.